Hey viewers, let me ask you a quick question. Have you ever wanted to fish a new location but don't know where to start? Where do I park? What public facilities are around the area? What species will I target? What are the best fishing conditions for that area? Best wind, bait, gear, rods, rigs, locations to where the reef is and weed beds are. What's the best time to go? Well, I'm gonna answer all of those questions in this video and much, much more. So if this interests you, stick around. This video is all about kayak fishing in the Altona area. Hey, I'm Rob from Hook and Mount Tackle and I've just figured out that I've been fishing the Altona area for nearly 40 years. Putting together all the right elements to catch more fish in a specific location can take, can yeah. take years and years of your own knowledge, time and research. Imagine yourself being able to catch more fish and save time by not having to do all the research. Well, that's what we've done here in this video for you. We've done, we've done all the hard work of fishing research around the Altona area so you can get out and maximise your time. As I said, I've had over 40 years of fishing experience in this area. I've fished from a kayak for over 10 years. Because of our extensive knowledge of the Altona area, I've had to break this video down into two parts in order to keep the videos short. If you watch this video to the end, we will give you all the tips you need to get out there and catch as much fish in as little time as possible. This video is part of a series that Hook and Mount Tackle will take you around to different locations of Port Phillip Bay where we will provide you with tips and tricks of fishing different locations. The purpose of this video is to get you out there and discover new areas to fish within Port Phillip Bay. We will be releasing part two of this video soon. So the best way to ensure that you don't miss part two is make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get the notification that we've dropped a new video. Now you're not gonna to wanna to miss part two because we are gonna give away details in part two of our first giveaway. Okay, let's get started. The suburb of Altona is located between Williamstown and Altona Meadows. Down to the south is the Point Cook Marine Sanctuary. The most notable structure of Altona is the pier. The reef that lies just at the front of Millers Road is very popular amongst kayak fishermen. Altona also has about three kilometers of beach frontage. Over the next two videos, what we'll be doing is we'll be looking at four separate locations that you can fish from. The first place that you can launch from will be the Altona Yacht Club. The other location that we'll look at is the Millers Road Kayak Ramp. In part two of this video series, we'll be looking at Altona Beach. And finally, we'll conclude with Apex Park. Okay, so let's kick off at the Altona Yacht Club. The Altona Yacht Club sits to the right hand side of the boat ramp. The Yacht Club is accessible via Beach Road. The Yacht Club is a great facility with a concrete boat ramp. Just so you get an idea of where to go, here we are driving down Beach Road, you turn left into the service road, follow it to the end. You'll see this blue building coming up on the right hand side, that's the Sea Home Fishing Club. Drop in and have a beer with these guys. They're very good guys and full of good knowledge. If you want some tips, ask these guys. Now, as you can see, the car park has plenty of space for trailers and kayaks. Here's a closer look at the car park. The white building in front of us here is the uh, Altona Yacht Club. Once you unload your kayak, we'll take you through the journey that you need to go down to get to the water. Here we go, through the little gate there, down through the uh, bike track, along the footpath. And you'll see here that a low tide, this works quite well as well. It is a bit of a hard yak to drag the kayak across the hard sand, but it is hard, it's not muddy underfoot. A little bit more about this area, the Sea Home Fishing Club also has a toilet. Now just to the right of the uh, yacht club you'll see the large mud flats where you can pump live bait, worms, yabbies, crabs. Now once you've launched your kayak to get to the first destination here is about an 800 meter paddle. 
just to demonstrate what this paddle looks like once you come off the boat ramp there you'll cross this little shallow section it is quite shallow once you see this yellow marker up the top here you know that's where it starts to deepen off once you're out of the rocks there a little bit further on another 400 meters or so you'll come to the to red stick now you want to hit to the left hand side of that stick now the first hazard in this area to be mindful of are the shallow rocks in this area you don't want to run aground steer clear if you can the next potential hazard in this area is boat traffic you want to wear make sure you're wearing high vis or have all the safety precautions that you can take on a kayak when fishing this area because the traffic from the boats coming in and out of the ramp can be a little bit challenging at times the first really good spot that we'd like to show you out from the Altona Yacht Club uh, contains weed beds and sand patches the weed beds and sand patches are located uh, to the left hand side of the red channel marker just to help you out so you know what you're looking for here I am on the drift as you can see underneath in this clear water you can see patchy pieces of sand and weed all together this is a great spot for targeting squid I have found over the number of years that I've been fishing this area that squid can be caught uh, in pretty good numbers around here when the water is really clear over the years of targeting squid in this area I have found that red squid jigs seem to work best Try using a hand line and make sure you use a little bit of Eggy Max as some scent. That does help attract the squid. The other species that you'll find in the area when you're on the drift is the humble flathead. They can be caught in some pretty good numbers here and also some good size. They seem to hide in the uh, weed beds. I tend to find I pick up a lot of these 40 centimeter ones uh, and the favorite bait here is uh, white bait for these guys. The other species of fish that you will encounter in this area are pinkies. The pinkies are generally in big numbers around this location. So if you don't mind catching specimens around about this size, which I think was about 35, then this is a good spot for you. Now the next location is a pretty solid reef. It sits to the right hand side of the uh, red channel marker. I don't usually drift in this area, I usually anchor up. You'll get some big snapper in this spot. Now, I've found over the years that a really hot summer night, November, December, you'll get some really big schools of um, snapper coming through. The best bait in this area are definitely pilchards. Here's a little tip for you. Go to your local fishmonger and get pilchards that are fit for human consumption. I've also found that the red flasher rigs work best in this area. The other rig I use is a twin snelled hook. Definitely the most well-known kayak launching spot of Altona is the end of Miller's Road and on the corner of the Esplanade. You will find a purpose-built kayak ramp which is awesome for launching. Now we're just driving down the Esplanade just to give you a look at what car parking is available. As you'll see here, most people can't park where these cars are here. Just to the right there you'll see the actual ramp on the bend and uh, you can park pretty much all the way up to the end here. It is perfect for those who have a kayak trailer. Okay, we're gonna show you two of our favorite spots to fish from in this area. The first being Fleming's Pool along the rocks, and the second being the Inner Reef. Both of these locations are a very short paddle, around about 400 meters to 600 meters. Although it is a quite a large reef system, so you can paddle quite a distance out and still be on top of the reef. Let's take some time now to have a look at the actual kayak ramp itself. Kayak trolley wheels are pretty important in this area. Although it's a pretty good surface to travel on, you will need to drag your kayak across the um, concrete here unless you've got a lighter kayak like myself. As you can see, we're going down the ramp here. It's fully concreted and um, you come down to the end here and it's still concreted right down into the water itself. Now, the previous shot just demonstrated what Altona looks like on a, a strong subly breeze. 
Now here in this shot, we can show you what it looks like on a northerly. So clearly the best fishing conditions are on a northerly, but you're going to make sure that it's not too strong on a north breeze. Each kayak has its own limitations. It's extremely important to understand what your kayak limitations are from a wind perspective. Another bonus of fishing this area is there's a public toilet right across the road. Along the rocks at Fleming's Pool provides some great salmon fishing. The salmon will take a bait here. I find that they do like squid or pilchard. The luck that I've had in this location chasing salmon is definitely the metal blades. You will catch them all year round. The other species that you will get here are big snapper. Whilst most kayak anglers are targeting big snapper on the reef, this little spot gets pretty much overlooked. This area is best fished on an incoming high tide. High tide will flush in water across the top of the rock. This natural occurrence brings a snapper in to feed off those rocks. This area is fished best at dusk and dawn and in unison with the incoming high tide. If you get all of those elements lining up, you're sure to get onto a big one. I usually get on the drift until I find a fish or two and then I decide that's the spot and I anchor up. Okay, the main reef at Miller's Road is made up of an abundance of species from leather jackets, red mullet, trevally, cuttlefish, squid. Basically every species around the area is in this spot. However, the main target for most anglers is snapper. Again, fresh pilchards is the best bait for this area. About a size 5 twin snelled hook rig is usually best. Any white soft plastic usually does pretty well through here, and I love to use the grubs. Hey, thanks for watching. It's greatly appreciated. Remember to subscribe because you don't want to miss part two as we'll be giving away the details of our giveaway. Hey, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you give us a thumbs up. It does help grow our channel. Thanks.